Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But the stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him, please? Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. Really, Sherry? <sighs> Poor thing. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Oh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. Could one man even lift it? At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm? The ghost was here, Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. The diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. Ah, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind palace, Sherry. I'm sure you'll make some good deductions.
it seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Ah, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. Size four with a broken heel. Size four with a broken heel. Size four with a broken heel.
I didn't take the diamond, I swear. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Size four with a broken heel. Can you satisfy my curiosity? That's a question I can answer. <sighs> May I ask you something? I can't help you with that, sir. anything about this sir I don't know try asking someone else such a shame that inspector Placido vanished I'd feel much safer with him handling this such a shame that inspector Placido vanished I'd feel much safer with him handling this I can't help you with that, sir. Isn't life too short to remain so? Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood at all. Could you help me? I can't help you, friend.
ghost hunting. This case gets more exciting by the minute. I didn't take the diamond, I swear. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. Was this covered on purpose? Of course. It is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a seance. The spirits may become enraged. Or someone may notice the trick they should not see. I wonder what this mirror could have witnessed. I wonder what this mirror could have witnessed. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. After colliding with the wall, this chair is all but in pieces. Ooh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. Size four with a broken heel. Rose de Moore. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless. No, what a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. Excuse me, just one question. Oh, yes. I can tell you everything, sir. Do you know anything about this? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with that, sir. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towels? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? A precious diamond was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden to discuss the private matters of our guests. Hmm. Are you also forbidden from peeking into private rooms, miss? Saletta. Lucia Saletta, sir. 
Tell me, Miss Celeta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I... Oh, please, sir, don't tell him. I have a family. I need this work. I won't, but only if you answer my questions truthfully. And don't play coy. I can tell. Describe what happened during the seance. Um, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest, a glowing cloud or a, a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost, a sickly, evil thing. And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? <laughs> the, the medium, Mr. Galici, he was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. <laughs> and then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right. I have your account memorized. Good day. Oh, you scared the poor girl, Sherry. Did she really deserve that? We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. <gasps> You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. 
Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. <gasps> You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? Lady Craven is not who she seems. Is this familiar to you? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. May I ask you something? Don't be angry, sir, but I truly don't know. Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know what you'll do? May I ask you something? Sir, I don't know. Try asking someone else.
Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Lady Craven is not... You're here, at last. I didn't do that. I swear, I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please, help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici, the medium. And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. 
Let me see what I can find. Barely an hour has passed, and you already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. <laughs> this must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. Fard Rouge Calomel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. Fard Rouge Calomel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Virtus or Dactus Apit, courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. The mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past and poor taste. A remarkably simple lock. So young and so dead. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. Stop wasting time. The murderer is getting away. I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? That's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week.
Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. So young and so dead. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it, you know that. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it, you know that. Someone was not. Not happy with his post? Someone was not happy with his post? Someone was not happy with his post? So young and so dead. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, but I never heard of this.